Hey guys, thank you guys for stopping in on this video. I deeply appreciate it. So, sorry for not having a video out the last couple of days I usually post. But, we are working on something bigger that I believe that is the right thing for my future to keep growing and growing an audience. And with that being said, which means we're going to have to slow down for a few weeks on YouTube content as we get everything finalized and what I'm working on. I'm not going to tell you guys yet because... In case something falls through, you know, you don't want to. I've always been taught in life to have low expectations. And anything better than that, count it as a blessing. So, that's what we're going to go with. But, I do believe, hopefully, everything will work out how it's supposed to. And we just got to finish finalizing some stuff. And then you guys will see. And then we'll be right back to normal content. So, in these next couple weeks, we'll try to at least have one video out a week for you guys. And it may not be all farming content. We may get into some other stuff and because most of our field work content is going to have to wait after we get everything finalized anyways so who knows what's coming but stay tuned because we're not i'm not done with youtube i'll never be done with youtube so don't think i'm done but we are going to have to slow down a little bit because we want to make sure we do everything the right way but thank you guys for watching this video so why don't you guys go see what adventures we get into on this video welcome back today guys thank you guys for stopping in look at our project we have going on today it's move everything around in the shop time our corn planter is almost 100% ready to go so we are going to take this thing and we're going to swing it around sitting right here in front of the combine and the 1486 is coming to life today maybe if the batteries are charged we're going to hook up to the sprayer sprayers and come in here we're going to do some work because hopefully we'll be spraying here in a couple weeks to decide whether or not this girl is going to wake up from her winter nap it'll be the first time she's ran all year long this year i think she said no So we have gotten bored and we just decided we're going to take the tire off for fun and we're going to split this thing apart and see if we can find the oil leak because we have nothing else going, going on this week. We don't have chicken selling. We don't have excavation projects going on. We just didn't buy a new Love Boy trailer. We pretty much, we're bored. We don't got a sprayer to work on. All of the planters are halfway ready. It'll be fine. We're going to take this apart and we have ordered another seal. Even though this seal that's in there has less than probably 100 hours on it, we've ordered another seal and we're going to put on and see if we can fix the leaking issue. But now we have to split our hub off of our lug nuts. And last time we did this, it took multiple wedges and prying and manual labor to get it to come apart. Remember kids, lift with your back and not your legs. I wonder how long that thing's gonna ride in there before it falls over because it's really, really top heavy. That poor thing. And then it'll probably leak gas all over my truck. I'm sure that's what will happen. But good morning guys. It's like 
7 o'clock in the morning, which is really early. It's quite, um, yeah, I'm not usually motivated this early in the morning. I'm more of a nighttime person. But we got a lot going on chicken houses today. We have chicken sailing. Oh, my poor truck. My poor truck. Look how nasty it is. All the stupid birds. We're going to have to... May have to clock some birds out with the pew pew, but that's why we brought the pressure washers because we're gonna give this truck a bath before we go pick up our love boy trailer. My truck needs a bath just as bad as this thing does too. I got down here at like 7:10. It is now 7:45, and that is because I had trouble because our fifth wheel back here, you guys couldn't see it because it was dark, but our fifth wheel has a automatic lock and unlock on it which means we flip a switch in there and it has an air system on here where it locks our kingpin in and it just has jaws on this fifth wheel right here that lock around your kingpin and it holds your trailer in anyway so it was unlocking but not moving the jaws and i was having trouble and i couldn't get it to you know let go of the grain trailer and i'm thinking to myself this is why I don't get up early. Because if I get up early and try to get ahead, stupid crap like this happens, and then you're just as good as if you sleep another hour, and then get up and come down here and work right away, because that's what happens when you get up early. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to take our trailer home to unload the pile of junk the guy sent with it? We're taking it to our house. Yeah, that's about the only excitement we have. This makes me so happy. I love it when things work how they're supposed to work. Even though it took like an hour to get hooked up to this trailer because it was being a pain in the butt. Well, the tr trailer wasn't. The truck was being difficult. The fifth wheel was having some mental, emotional issues that caused it to take a long time. But, so, we did not buy this. Don't think we bought this. We bought the trailer. This came with the trailer and we said, heck, we'll take it because it might fit in our grain trailer. And our grain trailer sort of needs a new bogey. That's what these things are called. This is like your frame wheel area on your trailer. And they're called bogies. And we may or may not need a new one. And this one may or may not fit. So we said we'll take it. If it don't fit, we'll scrap it. Well, how am I supposed to get you out? There's no room left. How wonderful. Watch the batteries be dead. Worked so hard to get this thing. Get the trailer here. Had to do a little bit of fabrication with the neighbor to get the trailer here and then watch this thing have de dead batteries. It scared me. I had the battery switch off, which is a good thing, but I didn't remember turning it off, and then nothing happened, it scared me for a minute.
We are on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Look at our excavator sitting back there. Now, that was the first time I've ever loaded that thing on this trailer. And me and my dad struggled a lot. It was The trailer is wet because it's been raining. And then you have wet metal tracks and slick wood. It just don't go good. So we struggled a little bit getting it on there straight. Finally got it. We got it all chained down. Now we're ready to go down the road. We even had a lunch break because it rained again. But now we are headed down the road. It has been an adventure today. But we finally got her here. Took long enough. It's taken almost half a day. Which, do it's our first time ever doing it, so we're learning a bunch of new things. Hopefully next time it'll be quicker. But, it is time to go have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. I've been called to abort mission. The storms have arrived. We are aborting mission before we get struck by lightning. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you stay tuned and see what we get into with our excavator. Faith Family Farming. See you in the next one.